Hey Tim from Budget Bronco, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a little uh, do-it-yourself project for a device to hold your phone on the Bronco dashboard. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, in case you don't know, Ford built the Bronco with a pretty cool feature. We're right there on the front of the dash. It built in a uh, device holder uh, with the threaded screw. So uh, the aftermarket is starting to come up with different mechanisms to attach phones and uh, GoPros and whatever else you might want to put there. Um, but some of them are really expensive. I've seen them for like $200 for a milled aluminum uh, bracket that you can put on there. So today I'm going to build my own. Uh, it's going to be made out of plastics, it's going to be 3D printed, and it's going to be based on a design uh, that was created by a member of the Bronco 6G Forum. I'll go into a little bit more detail of that. So I'm going to show you how to build it, and uh, it's a pretty cool thing, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's go. Phone mount that I'm building was designed by Tio Cali MG from the Bronco 6G Forum, and he also runs this website called Broken Innovation. So you can go there and actually purchase this if you uh, want to. And it looks something like this. One of the cool things about this design is uh, the mount is the 3D printed aspect that mounts to the dash and secures into that threaded hole. Um, but it also has this Picatinny rail feature that will allow you to mount multiple uh, phones or you could mount a phone and a uh, GoPro at the same time. Uh, and it gives you a lot of flexibility for things that can secure to that Picatinny rail. So that's the thing that we're going to be uh, building. And uh, next I'll show you the 3D model in more detail. This is the 3D model of the main mount uh, for the phone holder. And this is the surface here where the Picatinny rail will mount. So if you're not familiar with 3D printing, the basic uh, concept is that uh, a machine lays down a thin layer of plastic, layer upon layer upon layer upon layer at a time. And in fact, when you see the 3D printer in action here in the next video, uh, this is the orientation that I'll be printing at. This will be the bottom surface, and then the layers will slowly build on top of that. Um, there's lots of different kinds of plastics you can use. Um, the plastic that I'm going to be printing in is actually ABS plastic, which was chosen because it's strong and is not uh, heat sensitive. So the fear was if you print this in a softer plastic, that might actually be easier for printing and it sits on your dashboard where it gets really hot, uh, the plastic could weaken uh, or even uh, melt a little bit. So with ABS plastic, which is the type of plastic I'll be printing in, uh, that's not a concern. It's uh, heat stable. Uh, also here, a special shout out to uh, my friend Rob, who actually owns a 3D printer. Uh, he did the 3D printing for me. So uh, this is what the model looks like. And uh, in the next video, you'll see the 3D printer in action. It's going to be going in a fairly fast speed. The printing process actually takes about two hours. So we'll speed that up significantly. And here is the finished product in real life. Um, it's actually very uh, strong, rigid, uh, doesn't really bend much at all. This is the orientation in which it was printed, and you saw it on the printing machine there, uh, starting in, this would be the last surface that was printed. Um, this is the way it mounts on the Bronco. And here is the Picatinny rail that will fasten onto the top. 
Um, so again, it'll give us lots of flexibility for different things you can mount. Um, this Picatinny rail, which I will uh, include a link in the description, uh, purchased from Amazon, has on the bottom of it these uh, pieces that stick out a little bit, uh, that make it a little bit wobbly when it sits on top of this printed piece. So I'm actually going to grind off these uh, protrusions on the bottom. I'll do that next and show you so it'll mount nice and flat on the finished piece. So I've also gone ahead and drilled holes through the mount and we've got the Picatinny rail nice and smooth. So it's just as simple as fastening them together with some screws. Perfect and nice and secure, and we are ready to go. Now that we have this all assembled for mounting points, I'll also link this in the description. Uh, I found this also on Amazon, a pretty uh, nice way to adapt the Picatinny rail to various phone mounting devices or uh, GoPro mounting devices. Slips right on the rail, tighten it up. Um, it'll fit then your standard a GoPro type connection. It has that standard threaded on there so you can get your GoPro on there. So you could have a GoPro on one side or uh, another thing I'll link in the description is this phone mounting uh, device which I found which also is pretty cool. Similarly they all work on that same kind of standard thread. Uh, so this just fastens on there and the nice thing about this one that I found is that it'll hold your phone in either a horizontal or I'm sorry this is for horizontal um, or if you want to hold your phone vertically, it'll do that as well. Um, and it uh, loosens and tightens to uh, accept a lot of different phone sizes. So that's essentially the finished thing. I will go now mount it on the Bronco and show you how it looks. And there we are, all mounted up in the Bronco. Um, it's as simple as this one screw goes through the mount and into that threaded hole. Um, got everything all set up. And so a phone, if you uh, want to put it in the vertical position, just like this. Um, and um, again, this thing mounts. Uh, it can go horizontal as well if you're in like uh, driving mode. One last note, if you don't care about the Picatinny rail and you only want to have one mount, you can purchase this piece and then it'll just mount straight into the dashboard. Um, so really one thing and one uh, screw through into the dashboard. You won't have the flexibility to mount multiple things, but uh, it's a super simple option if you really like this piece. And that is it. That is all we have for Budget Bronco today. Uh, always appreciate the comments. If you like what you're seeing, hit that uh, subscribe button and a like. Uh, let me know what you think of the project, and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. Thanks.